What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix your Blue Yeti mic if it is not de being detected in Windows or if it's being detected as a USB advanced audio device. Um, so before we get started, if you guys can hit that sub and like button, 99% of you are not subscribed, so chances are you're not subscribed, and it would help me a lot. Um, I make a lot of tech videos, and I've been getting into a lot of gaming videos as well, so um, lots of cool tips and tricks and fun stuff on the channel. Uh, but let's get into the actual fix here. So I'm using a program, uh, config 6400, CM 6400, and in CM 6400, I'm opening up um, the um, application itself and we connect using the VID and PID of our driver. So what you wanna do is open up device manager. So just type in device manager, open it up here, and then you'll see under sound, your USB advanced audio device. If you right click and go to properties, go to details, and then scroll all the way down until you see last known parent. You'll see it has a VID, which is the four digits here, and then a PID, which is the four digits there. So let's type those in here. Zero D eight C and zero one six C. All right, so let's go ahead and connect. And we're connected. When I first connected, mine actually said that my um, ROM was completely empty. Yours might say the same, or it might connect fine like this. Um, so once you're connected, uh, what you can do is you could save your EEP ROM just to make sure that you have a copy if you do have one. Um, but I have a backup file here that we'll be using. Um, and basically, we're just gonna change the information on our USB device using this uh, different firmware file, this EEP ROM file. So we're gonna choose um, file to EEP ROM and it's in my downloads, it's on my desktop. Here it is, and we're gonna open. And then we're gonna wait a second. Uh, so it, um, successfully flashed the EEP ROM. So let's press OK. And we're gonna unplug our device. And then we're gonna plug our device back in. And now you'll see that Yeti Classic shows up here. And we can open up Blue um, Sherpa and see if it shows up. And it is right here. And we can open up Logitech and we can see that it's showing up here with all the blue voice effects and everything. Um, so yeah, that's a really quick and easy way to fix the Blue Yeti microphone if it's giving you issues. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.